Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's video, we're going to look at how to configure a non-default port for your listener. How to configure a non-default port for your listener. Now, if you need to use a non-default port, then the listener configuration file, which is this one, listener.ora, is very, very important. And I'll give you just one reason why you need to configure a non-default port. As we all know, the default port for your Oracle listener is 1521. And trust me, anybody that knows this can easily gain access to your database. So for your database safety and security, it's advised that you configure a non-default port that can be used, all right? So in a minute, I'll show you how to do this. Now, in our previous lesson, we returned this file back to the original name, which is listener.ora. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is to open this file. Now, I'm going to change this port to 1523. Okay. And then I'll save it and close this file. Then I'll open a new terminal. And then I'll try to stop the listener. Okay, you can see we already started having some little errors. Now, let me try to start the listener again. The command completed successfully, and then the listener supports no services. Now, even if you wait for 60 seconds, you will observe that the listener process will fail to register any service at all. Now, this is because the default port number has been changed to 1523. Okay, so let's try again. Let's check the status. After 33 seconds, the listener wasn't able to register any service. Let's wait again for 27 more seconds and then try to see if we can get it up and running. Okay, 56 seconds, so um, four seconds more. Now let's try again. It is up to four seconds. You can see that the listener supports no services. So the default port number has been changed and there needs to be a way to fix this, okay? We need we are trying to configure a non-default port. So how do we go about it? It's very simple. All you need to do, okay, is first come to this file, tnsnames.ora, and then try to open. Now, the first thing you need to do, okay, is to change all of these port numbers to what you have in your listener.ora file, which is 1523, right? Change this one to, to 1523 and then save and close. Now, the next thing you want to do is to connect as the sysdba, okay? And then issue the following command again show parameter local now you can see the name of the local listener so you are going to redefine it again each time you make a change to the listener configuration file you have to redefine the value again so for that we are going to issue the command alter system set we'll now take this copy this paste and then we'll copy this here local underscore listener okay equal to paste this one and then we enter. So you can see that the system has been altered, okay? So now, we're gonna exit the SQL terminal.
and then we'll try to stop the listener again. The listener stopped successfully. Now we're going to start it again. Start. The listener has been started, but it supports no service still. So wait for 60 seconds and then you observe that all the services were registered. Right? So let's check the status. Okay. We waited for 23 seconds. Let's check again. We waited for 44 seconds. So remaining 16 seconds to go. So let's check again. Wow. Now you can see that all the services have been successfully registered, right? So this is how you configure a non-default port. Now to prove to you that this is true, let's go back to our SQL developer. Let's check the same connection, go to properties. Now observe that this is still carrying the default port number. If I try to test this connection now, you see that there's an error. I'm not able to connect. But if I change this port number to 1523 and I say test connection, you can see that this, the connection was successful. You see success, it's showing success. Guys, so this is how you configure a non-default port for your database, right? So we're going to go back to our machine and then return everything back to normal. So to do that, we'll open this file, return this one to one, and save, close, open this one, return this to one, return this to one, and then return this to one and save and close. Then we will try to stop the database. Sorry, we will try to stop the listener, which we've just done. And then we will try to start it up again. And we're going to connect again as the sysdba. Okay, and then show parameter local. And then it shows us the same thing. All right. So the next thing we want to do is to redefine this again. Right. So for that, we use the command alter system set local underscore listener equal to listener underscore O-R-C-L and then system has been altered. Okay, so I'm going to exit this and then stop this. Let's start it again. So, um, if we try to wait for another how many seconds? 60 seconds. Okay, status. We waited for eight seconds. Wait and see what happens. Okay, so you can see now that listener now supports all services. Now, I hope you know that for you to bypass this process of waiting for 60 seconds for the LREG process to register all the services, you can issue a simple command to, to bypass this. All you need to do is to connect as the sysdba and then issue the command alter system register. This will bypass the process of 60 seconds, okay? So guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.